Hello, welcome to this book review, which is of Evil Eye by Edith Rum. My book reviews are spoiler free. I give every book one to five stars. One, I did not care about care for the book, probably didn't even finish reading it. Two stars and the book was okay. Three stars. It was a good book. I liked it. Four stars. A great book. I loved it. And then five stars are those more random books that just blow my mind. I will have this book listed below in my Pango Bookshop, or I will have links below if you're interested in just picking up a new copy. So let's get rolling with this review. So in Evil Eye, we're going to meet a Palestinian-American woman um, by the name of Yara, who grew up in Brooklyn. Um, her family immigrated, I think, when she was a young child. And uh, yeah. But the story is going to take place in the suburbs of North Carolina, where she is married to a success successful businessman, raising her two children. And she herself is going to be working, I'd say, part time as an art teacher at a local college. But she is really struggling with a couple of things. She's struggling with her identity culturally as a female um, what the expectations of her are with what how she wants to live her life. Um, she's struggling with that usual immigration experience that I've really enjoyed when I read books. What is it like when you are trying to I, I grow up in a world in a culture that is so distinctly different than your own? How does that play into your own identity? How do you remedy the the this, the discord between your your previous culture and the American culture? All of these things I was so intrigued by and excited to read. Um, and on top of that, she's also struggling with some marital things between her and her husband. Um, a lot of these seem to be very much rooted in the culture and their gender roles and expectations as well. Unfortunately for me, I found this book fell incredibly flat and I was really disappointed. And in fact, I even stopped reading it. Um, so this was a one star DNF for me. I loved A Woman Is No Man. So I had gone into this book um, expecting these, this really, I was so intrigued by the plot. There were so many elements to it that I was really looking forward to. I found for me, the characters felt incredibly stereotypical. The um, the people that our main character worked with, her mother-in-law, her husband, everyone seemed to just be extreme in their statements and the way they behaved um, to follow along with very specific, specific stereotypes. And the other thing that where it really lost me is it felt like our main character wasn't evolving at all. It was just a circular sort of behavior and decision set with no sort of, okay, now I've had this moment and this moment is going to shift and impact how I'm thinking about something, right? Because I am I have a new experience. I tried something and it didn't work. I tried to have a conversation. And we usually will see characters sort of evolve from these moments. And it really wasn't happening with this main character for me. And then on top of that, I, I actually did not care for the writing. I found it to be very mediocre, and I always hate saying that, but it, it just, for me, there was nothing in the story. And so what I did, and I do this a lot when I'm struggling with um, DNFing a book, is I'll go to the, the low rating reviews to see, did other people speak to the things that I'm struggling with? Does this change? If other people don't like the book for other reasons, then I'll keep going. But what I found when I looked at the low reviews for this particular book is people were verbalizing the same things. And it sounded like those carried through from those that read the complete book. Those continued through the whole book. So I chose to just stop reading. Um, so for me, this book was really a, a loss. And I'm, I'm really disappointed because I was so, so captivated by the concept that was driving it. So as always, would love to hear from those of you that read the book. Did you feel the same way? Did some of you find that there was more insight, that the characters weren't stereotypical? I I'm, I just love to hear everyone's different experiences. So let me know below. Um, but other than that, it's time. Let's go read some more books. Happy reading.